True That Boxing. What's up, man? The Axis True That Boxing coming at you one more time. Got the latest news for you. How y'all doing today? All right. Well, uh, who are we looking at today? We are looking at Gary Russell Jr. He is an American professional boxer who has held the WBC featherweight title since 2015 and is the current champion is the November the 20 no this is uh the ninth excuse me november the 10th <laughs> devin haney just won saturday so uh he is the current wbc featherweight super featherweight champion um gary russell jr was born june 5th 1988 he's 31 years old um he's from washington dc he's um five five his height is 5'5", five five. his weight is 127, and of course his style is boxing. He is a boxer. Um, he is the featherweight, super featherweight champion um, coming in at 127. Um, let's get into this, you guys. Now you know who we're looking at. Gary Russell Jr. All right, let's get into it. Now, Gary Russell Jr., man, he's been uh, calling out Tank Davis, uh, Devin Haney, been calling out Tank Davis. There he is. I mean, uh, Devontae Tank, he's a bad boy. Um, when you're at that level, you're knocking people out, um, you're winning in spectacular fashion. Um, you're handsome, you look good, you're like the star figure. Uh, people want you. So, uh, they want um, Tank Davis. And uh, the real boogeyman between 127 and 135 is that man right there. Right there, Gary Russell Jr. He's a bad boy. Um, Leo Santa Cruz, um, he's a bad boy. He, um, fought Abner Mars and put hands on Abner Mars. Abner Mars is in the lightweight class. Um, Leo Santa Cruz also put hands on Carl Frampton. He put hands on Carl Frampton. Okay. Um, they were supposed to meet at 1.30. Gary Russell and Leo Santa Cruz, but the fight never went through. Um, for some reason, I don't know what happened, but that fight didn't happen. Um, Gary Russell been chasing all these guys and they decided to move up. Let's not fight Gary Russell. Let's move up. Let's go to 135. You know, um, Gary Russell's coming up. He's leaving the 127 featherweight division. He's going up to 130. That's the lightweight division. Um, it's a five more pounds heavier, and he'll be at the 135. Your Danny Haney's and your Shakur Stevens and um, Javante Davis and guys like that. Uh, Mikey Garcia, um, Ryan Garcia. Um, man, that that's a loaded weight class, just like the 147 division. Um, that's a that 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 division is loaded with some really really great fighters. Um, Gary Russell, he's really, really after Tank Davis. He wants Tank Davis bad. Um, Tank Davis is nice. They call him Tank for a reason. He's, he's a bad boy. He's good. He's nice. He's vicious. Um, but Gary Russell, he wants him. He wants to fight him. Uh, Devin Haney, he just won his fight. He went 12 rounds. He won his fight. He said he uh, blew out his uh, shoulder, so it was no spectacular knockout. The fight went 12 rounds. There was a lot of holding, so uh, he's also calling out Tank Davis, um, Shakur Stevens, and uh, Tank Davis had a little beef. Shakur Stevens is also at that weight class. A lot of firepower. Uh, you have Lamachico out there. He's another person that beat Gary Russell one time. Um, that's the only loss that Gary Russell do have is um, by Lamachico. Uh, Gary Russell has stated that uh, he was um, 
very fatigued that fight. He had a new strengthening coach, and uh, he had him doing things that he normally wouldn't do. And he was like, hey, coach, man, uh, you sure we should be doing this? And, you know, he had him just doing things he shouldn't have been doing, and he was really drained. He said he was drained the first round when he fought Lamachico. And if you do go back and watch that fight, um, you can see he was not the explosive Gary Russell Jr. that he normally is. Um, he's explosive. He gets off. And, and, and he was just like, wow, what's wrong with Gary? He was fatigued. He was burnt out. But he did fight the whole 12 rounds. Um, Lemachico never did give him a rematch. So he moved up in weight as well. That's the real boogeyman, Gary Russell Jr., uh, but he's going to move up in weight class. He's going up to 130. He got a fight coming up. And once he get past this fight and get another title, uh, he's going to get rid of that. Then move up to 130. And uh, he told Avante Davis that he's coming for him. Tank, he's coming for you. So if you go to 135, that's only five more pounds higher. Um, Leo Santa Cruz, we don't know what he's going to do. Abner Mars. Hey, if he wants something, he can get it too. Um, Carl Frampton can get it. Um, he's really gunning for Tank Davis. Uh, if Lemon Chico want to do it again, he'll do it with Lemon Chico as well. But there's other guys like um, Tank Davis, Devin Haney. Devin Haney wants Lemon Chico. So um, this is going to be a real, real interesting um, weight class between. Uh, 130 and 135 those boys are really going to get it on that's just like the 147 pounders they move up to 154 they come down to 147 and they meet at a weight uh, um a catch weight hi mia st john she's a great fighter yes she is round 12. so anyway um Let's give it up to Gary Russell. He's uh he's moving up to 130 to face these guys. Uh, he wants Tank Davis first, but I'm sure he's gonna have him a tune-up fight before he gets to Tank. So the 135, 130 division is loaded. You know, Leo Santa Cruz, um, Gary Russell, great fight. Tank Davis, Gary Russell, great fight. Leo Santa Cruz, Tank Davis, great fight. I mean, any one of these guys get in there and fight would be good. Abner Mars will go in there and fight you. He's going to give it all he got. Carl Frampton is going to go in there and fight you. He'll give it all he got. But uh, right now, the top dogs is Leo Santa Cruz, Shakur Stevens, Tank Davis, Gary Russell Jr., Ryan Garcia, uh, Mikey Garcia, Lamachico. Devin Haney, I mean, we're loaded. So, uh, 2020, you guys, I'm trying to tell you. That's going to be the um, fights to see, man. 2020, Ryan Garcia, um, um, Devin Haney, um, 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 Tank Davis. 2020, man, Gary Russell's coming up in weight. He's going to be in that mix, too. So, it's going down, you guys. That's all I have. For you guys right now, I just want to tell you that, but um, stay tuned for 2020 because it's, it's going down. Um, this is the Boxing Channel. This is the Boxing News. So if you like what I'm talking about, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit that little notification bell button. Get all the notifications as soon as I come out with the breaking news, hot news, updates. And go ahead and share this and go ahead and punch that like button. Give it a good jab. All right. No boxing, no life. Peace out.